So I'm going to show you how do we connect it to IMDb. I think many of you guys are aware of this IMDb website. It's a movie, movie database, right? We can see the movie ratings and, you know, all this uh, movie summary and, you know, all the uh, actor and actresses information over there. So we're going to connect to that particular website. So let me just uh, select. So we can also do one thing like uh, usually there's a, a search option that you, I use. So basically, top 250 IMDb movies. So there's one standard URL which will uh, come up. You can see this one. The very first 250 movies. So this is a URL. And uh, so this is again open web. Everybody can access this uh, website, right? So I'm going to select this link and I'm going to connect to my Power BI. How I am going to do that? Again, I'm going to more and web. But you can still see there is a direct option in web here. The same web connector is available here. But just to make sure you get habituated initially, you have to go with the long process, go to the web and select this and click on connect. And I'm going to paste the same URL, click on OK. So what happens is it tries to scan the entire web page and sees whatever data it has, like whatever table structures, everything it will be getting here. So we need to make sure which table or what kind of data is required that we need to pick it up. Okay. So let me usually it takes some time depending on the size of the web page or you know the various aspects. So I think it is trying to connect. All right, so you can see it is showing me you know first three tables, and then also it is showing me the other one HTML code display text. So you can select when you select this, it will show you a preview on the right side what what it is actually showing you. Okay, so basically uh, it will show you the preview on the right side like display text. I think uh, yeah. So you can see there's a table one. So let me select table one so that I can go with the you know right selection yeah so as you can see there's a list of movies showing up which is basically showing the movie name the shashank redemption right the godfather dark knight so you can see all the movies right it's just giving you the preview of top 71 right top 50 dude it'll just truncate the all the uh, remaining records it will just show you the preview so you can just select whichever you want like again it might repeat the same table but again, there's another table. I think there's a top box office, something else. So maybe I'm interested to get this movie information where it has got some rating column. Maybe it has got some year of release, like time, like what is the length of the movie rating, the genre or, you know, whatever category, right? You can just select that and click on transform that so that the data is coming into my Power BI desktop. As you can see, I was able to get this and like you all are aware of it. Like we, again, once you get the data, there's a lot of things we need to do. Again, we need to make sure the re, the column names are given rightly. And you know, there are a lot of other things we need to make sure all the data is proper or not. You can see the rating, the everything is there. So this is how we get the data from IMDB as a web. Okay. So now let's uh, go with the other example, which is listed as a part of the demo. That is called as a web page. Just like this is also a web page. IMDb was also a web page. But again, uh, to add in another demonstration, I was just showing you another uh, web page. Let's say there is a web page called uh, this. Let me just open up. So best states to retire. So there's a table in a web page. This is just generic web page, right? Uh, like a like a regular web a web page or website, right? So basically, this is giving you some information. It's talking about what are the best states of to retire based on what people really want, right? So uh, depending on the quality of life, depending on the housing cost, healthcare quality, crime rate. So there are a lot of aspects that you know people wanted to look in before they you know kind of decide on which uh, state they wanted to retire, right? So there is a lot of information. In this you can see a lot of tables are here, right? A lot of small tables, and also you can go down and see there are. Uh, yeah, this is also there's a big table that's giving some ranking based upon uh, quality of life, housing cost, health care cost. So I think this is morally based upon the U.S. Uh, US states, right? Yeah. yeah. Sorry for that. 
so basically you can see this uh, the lot of uh, you know information here so maybe let us try to pick this particular table we've got almost 50 states right us has got 50 states let us rank all of them in a proper ranking so let me uh, let us go with the same option let me copy this url let's go back to my power bi desktop and again close so let me just close this close and apply so we need to follow this close and apply we'll understand more in detail like what exactly is close and apply and when you should use all of that so right now our focus is to connect to various data sources like we are taking an example by example right I think there's too much of data already loaded into our uh, Power BI desktop because there are almost, you might be noticing like we are getting the data from almost like various sources so far, Excel, CSV, IMDB, right? Now Google Sheets, now we are getting from another website. So how do you get that? Again, I'm going to use web as a shortcut now. So the same web as a shortcut and then I'm going to add in the same URL. Click on OK. Again, it will do the same thing. It will scan but this time it has, you know, given some option, right? What is this? So basically, uh, I think this is the same step that should have come for IMDB as well. But why it didn't come is uh, I've connected IMDB in the past as well. So it has remembered like what was the option chosen from. Okay. So basically, whenever you try to connect to any other database or any other, sorry, any other website or web page, which is, uh, you know, uh, in general, right? So it will ask like what kind of authentication you have. So are you able to connect to that website as an anonymous or it is something like the, is it this uh, website that you are trying to connect is coming from your uh, organization, right? So if you are, if it is coming from your organization, they have some restrictions, right? They have some login process. Maybe they, they use some windows. Sometimes they've used the windows login ID. If it is uh, coming from your organization and you are able to connect to it from your office laptop, right? Sometimes they integrate that windows and that organizational web page sometimes they give some you know basic id and password for logging into some urls so sometimes they generate a key so the web api sometimes they generate a key and then share the key with everyone so that they use that key to connect to that particular web page and sometimes they also you know kind of directly sign it's kind of a single sign on they kind of uh, link up your organizational id so you are working for infosys maybe you have infosys id so that Infosys ID can directly log into your, this particular website. So we can directly click on this sign in and automatically get signed in. But is this something, uh, the link that is coming from any of our organization? No, it is just coming from a random public web page. So we can use anonymous because since it's a random public web page, it is easily accessible via anonymous as a connection. So we can select this anonymous and click on connect. You can see it is able to establish a connection waiting for this website and automatically it tries to load the data. Okay. We'll also see like, you know, as and when we progress further, you'll be able to see uh, the other couple of options to connect to some of the uh, data sources. Okay. So now we can see it is scanning the entire web page and it will be able to give a lot of options because we would, be, we have seen a lot of tables in that page, right? A lot of small tables and a lot of big tables and there was huge content. So as you can see, yes. So there is, you can just select that particular, uh, you know, table or, you know, whatever sheet, if you see, and you can see the preview of the data. So you can select and see, I think this is table one here. Yeah, I can see this is a table that we have seen the 50 state ranking, right? This is a rank. So maybe I will select this table one and click on transform data or load directly. Okay, I'm clicking on load so that I'm able to get the data directly from this particular website onto my Power BI desktop. 